strangers, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm going to be doing is like a makeup tutorial, get ready with me sort of thing. I feel like I haven't done my makeup in a really long time and I also haven't filmed and put up a video in a really long time just because I haven't felt really inspired. So today I'm going to go through my normal makeup routine, maybe show you guys what I use. If it's something that you use as well, let me know and just kind of have a little bit of fun. So before I do my makeup, I always do my skincare routine. I did do it after I showered earlier today. So right now I've been liking the Olay Wrinkle Correction Serum. And then after that, gone back to the I Do Care Say You Do Moisturizer. So that is what I use. And then, yeah, that's kind of it. So, so this, these are like my staples that I always use. First thing that I use is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This primer like broke the internet because I know that like Jeffree Star, he um, reviewed it and then like compared it to Tatcha and how like great it was and stuff. So of course, if Jeffree Star likes it, I have to buy it as well. It's only like $7 and it, it is really nice. It definitely like fills my pores. I feel like the makeup sticks really well to it. So that is something that I really have liked. So now that that's set up, the next item that I've been using and absolutely loving is this foundation. I I don't even know where to begin, honestly. I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, and it's, it's amazing. And I'm not the first person to discover this. This is definitely, like, a fave that people are sleeping on. Like, it's only $7 to $12, and it comes in a wide shade range. It is amazing. It will feel natural. It will look natural. It will stay on all day. I've been really a big fan of using this palette I got in my Imgur Secret Santa. If you haven't seen that video, it's really good. I mean, I liked it. It's edited by a star. I will link it up here. Go click it, go watch it. All you need to know. But I have been putting it on here. It's more sanitary as well because you don't want to put it directly onto like the back of your hand or anything like that because you can get oils from your hand on your face. So this has already been wiped off and sterilized. So I always just give my foundation a shake. I've also been really loving using a brush for my foundation. I never thought I'd be one of those people. I thought that I'd really kind of only stick to the blender bottle. Blender, wonderful. Beauty blender or beauty sponge. But I've really been liking using a brush. So I will grab, I will grab my brush. It's the Jeffree Star X Morphe JS1 brush. And we will just get some in the bristles and then apply it. So this foundation is like medium coverage. It's not full, but it's, I'd say maybe it's medium to full. Um, kind of in that like sweet spot there. I don't need too, too much coverage. So I do like that it's not cakey. We could always darken it up with some bronzer. So that's it on. I always make sure I go down and blend it like into my neck as well. But that's what it looks like on. It looks a little light. Obviously I do like put bronzer and contour on, but like I said, this is such a great foundation. If you need one or you're looking for one or looking for something that's very affordable, I cannot stress enough how much I love this foundation. And now we're gonna move on to concealer. So concealer, I feel like I haven't really found my like perfect concealer yet, but I have been using, which I know is like another cult favorite for the people that use it. It's the Instant Age Rewind Eraser by Maybelline. These are like seven or eight dollars. I use the shade 150 Naturalizer. I don't think this is like the perfect shade for me. I definitely feel like I need to go somewhere and get shade matched for concealer, but this has been working. And then the way that I like do my makeup, I feel like it looks okay. So we're going to apply this. You just twist it up if you haven't seen it before, and then the product comes through to the little sponge. So I will put on where I normally put my concealer and then we will get concealing. For this, I actually use 
the little Jeffree Star brush, X Morphe. This is the JS3 brush. I know that they were doing a sale on morphe.com for his brushes. I think there was like some controversy surrounding them, but honestly, I've washed these brushes. I've used these brushes for like a lot of different things and I've had no issue with them. So I don't know what the controversy was, but I didn't have any problems with it. So I wasn't like too upset. I do drag my concealer onto my lid as well as a base for eyeshadow. So that's me. I'm completely washed out. I feel very vulnerable. I don't know why. But it looks like I have very smooth skin. So now what we're going to do is set the face and set the under eyes. Again, a lot of the products that I use, they're not state of the art. They're not groundbreaking. Everything is very affordable to a point, I think. I don't really have any like luxurious products. I, I don't have $62 lipstick or anything like that. But I do have like middle tier to lower tier products and I just try to make them work for me. So the powder that I use is the Cody Airspun. I just got this at at Walmart. L not just, but I, I recently got it at Walmart. I think the Cody Airspun is like seven or eight dollars. I You do have to be careful with it because you can get like flashback when you take a photo or something like that. I know Cody Airspun powder has been a around for like a really long time and I've just been getting into like powder and setting the face this is something that's still very new to me so I'm not like great at it and I'm not even sure if I'm doing it correctly most of the time but this is what I'm told I need to do so I apply it to like my eye area I apply it on the nose and the forehead anywhere I put concealer I put the powder so next thing I'm going to do is my eyeshadow I think that that is a good next step so this is from elf this was like four dollars at target it was on sale i didn't really do any like research into it but again getting an eyeshadow palette for four dollars and i really like the colors too um i think i'm just gonna do like a very basic smoky eye so i think that we'll dig into this because this will be my first time using this as well and it is very affordable something that i've been sleeping on and i got this at the dollar store i got this at the dollar store are these eyeshadow it's basically like a carton with like a little sponge in it and you wipe your brush on it and then you can easily like switch colors so like the color comes off in the pan you just rub your brush along it and it's like a quick way to like switch colors on a brush so I always make sure that it's clean and then I don't think that there's any yeah there's like no colors to this i don't know if it was on like the outer carton of it but i'm gonna dip into like a light shade first so i think i'm going to go in with like this brown and just put it all over the lid there's fallout that's to be expected i don't think anybody's surprised by that i don't regret ever like buying like little mini eyeshadow palettes just because if you're traveling somewhere they are really nice to have and then if they break, which would suck because you wasted money, you can just throw it out. Or if like a shade breaks or something or like one shade isn't good but one shade is. For $4 for all of these shades, like I'm never going to hit pan on any of them anyway. So it's not like I have a whole lot of money invested. But if even if I liked it for one color, $4 for like a nice eyeshadow isn't bad. This I do really like this color though. Like, sorry if you guys can hear background noise. My boyfriend is playing halo with his friend which is fine but if it annoys you i'm sorry but i also don't care i do but i don't okay i feel like i should have bronzed before putting this on because i'm so pale right now but it's fine we'll see the whole look come together it was a beaky b-e-a-k-y brush again i'm still filming on an iphone 8 I miss my iPhone XS Max 11, whatever, but that's going to be in Apple's headquarters forever, I feel like. I don't know when I'm going to be getting my phone back, if I get it back, so that's fine. Do this darker brown, this one. I'm going to grab it, and then I'm going to put it in the outer corner. Ooh. Okay. That really picked up a lot of color. I'm excited to see how it 
yeah, this color is not playing around. But I feel like you could almost be blending for like hours if, if you told somebody you had to, you know? These colors are blending really well, I think. I'm really impressed and I'm really happy that I bought this palette. So that's the eye look right now. I really feel like it's not picking up on the camera that it's even. Maybe if I come over like this way. But in person, it looks it looks even. I don't know if it's like a mind trickery. I do have a light over here as well, so it could just be like getting washed out from that. Now, I'm going to go in with... This is a Winky Lux um, brush. I got it in a birch box, I believe. It's Luxie 213. It's for eye shading. I'm going to take it. It's a flat brush. And I'm going to go into this like shiny terracotta in the inner corner of the lid. So like right here and then sweep it to the middle and up. But I really like this color combination. Obviously I'm like wearing the worst shirt to do makeup with. I'm wearing this tie-dye shirt that I've had on for the last three days. But if I was wearing like a cozy fall sweater maybe, I think that it would match a little bit better, but I'm not, although it snowed today. I live right outside of Chicago, and there was snow on the ground. There's not really much left, but, I mean, it's April at this point, and I feel like this is the second or third winter that we've had. We had, like, 60-degree weather, and then it snowed. I think this is the last snow of the season. Now, I feel like it's time for bronzer. My face is very washed out in contour, which I feel like I use interchangeably. It's not the same thing, but something I've been using is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I've heard nothing but good things about this bronzer, and then I went to Goodwill and I bought hair dye there, which I'll link that video up here. And I bought this butter bronzer. I was wilding at Goodwill. This, it was all wrapped up. It was like shrink wrapped. I wasn't concerned about it. It came with like this little sponge to apply bronzer, which didn't really make a lot of sense to me. But this is in the shade 6676 bronzer. Muru Muru butter bronzer. There's some things that people tell you not to thrift and I know makeup is one of them but it was one of the stores that gets a lot of Target items. So it was zeroed out from Target. It had the tag on it. It was shrink wrap, like I said. So I felt safe buying it, but that isn't something that I like go out seeking, but it was like in the bins by the front. It wasn't like thrown in with the rest of the items. I don't think this is how you bronze by any means, but I just, this is a get ready with me and this is how I get ready. So I, this is just what I do. I don't know. So I think this is where we're at right now. I think that it looks good. I wish I could like darken up this area, but we're going to put blush on anyway. And then I usually put like, honestly, a little bit more bronzer over the blush. So I'm not like too worried about it, but I feel like it's a little light, but that's also not the worst thing. It definitely looks better in person. I don't know... The blush that I've been using is a Smash Mouth, Smash Mouth, Somebody. Smashbox blush. It's in the shade Halo. And I like it because when you open it, I'll show you, you like grind as much as you need. I got this blush in 2013 when I went to New York with two of my friends. I just recently opened it. I'm probably sure it's expired, but I love the color of it. And the other one I have is this like Clinique blush that I'm sure is way too old at this point. And so, you know what? I'm throwing this out and I'm not going to be upset that I am using this one. What I do for my blush is I really get it in the brush. I tap off the excess oh you know what these beaky brushes or whatever I got them on Amazon it was like a set of 10 or 12 and I think it was like $7.99 okay that must be really annoying so again I'm gonna hit off this is like the fallout that I got and then I just stamp it on and this blush 
builds really well. So maybe I just need to like go to Smashbox and buy the blush. Because again, I really do like it. If I ever overdo my blush, I always go in with like a velour, like a little puff and just try to blend it out. Or I'll put more bronzer on. In this case, I feel like I did an okay job. I, I go once over as well just to make sure that it's all like settled. I feel like I'm jumping all over the place, which is fine. But I think the next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. I Eyebrows, I feel like is the one thing that I really need to like learn how to actually do because I feel like it can really like change your face and I get my eyebrows threaded every once in a while just to like upkeep them and maintain them but like in terms of doing my eyebrows I don't do a whole lot just because I don't know how so that is something that I'm maybe I should spend this time like learning how to do is my eyebrows because there's not much else to do. I use the, and it's all worn off because I don't actually know why. Is the Benefit Give Me Brow, and it's just like tinted brow gel, and I just put it on. And that's really all I do. I just kind of comb them and hope that it looks good, but I definitely want to get more into doing my eyebrows because I feel like that would really elevate like my skills and my makeup into the next level. This is my favorite eyebrow. This is my least favorite eyebrow. I only have two so it just kind of has to fall that way but like why can't it why can't this one look like this one and even when I get them threaded I feel like the other one always looks so much better than this one. I feel like now that I'm very hyper aware of my eyebrows and I've been talking about them they look crazy on my face but I don't know do we like them do we hate them I was using this like liquid brow color from Ico and it's just like a little felt tip pen where you could like color in your eyebrows so I'll demonstrate that that's like about as much drawing in as, as I do Highlight, we could do an old staple, which is the Jeffree Star highlight. I also have been liking this Winky Lux highlight as well. God, I really, I really hate this phone. Really cool from Modeling Co. Moonshine highlight. I think today I'm going to go with the Winky Lux just because it's a little different. And it's not the one that I always use. So, on a very fluffy brush, it's the Jeffree Star JS4. I will go in and add highlight. So we'll add it to the high points of our face. I add it to like the tip of my nose. Make like an exclamation mark almost. Again, I always take a velour puff if I feel like it stands out in any sort of way. Just to touch on it. And then what I also do is I'll add a highlight. I'll just do like a sweep. Like a very sweep, sweep, sweep. Final touches, I feel. Eyeliner, mascara, a lip, and then I think we're done. Eyeliner, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. I got this in a sample box, and I like it, so no complaints there. And then for mascara, I'm going to use... I've been using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Lash. And again, I got this in like a birch box and I've really been liking it. So, get this eye and then I'm going to do this one. I don't have a technique. I don't think my eyeliner ever like looks great. So don't maybe follow me on this one. I think that's good. So now what I'm going to do is put on mascara. I feel like mascara really can bring an entire look together. I'm not into false lashes. I feel like that's something for adults. <laughs> I'm not an adult. But I do love wearing mascara. I feel like I can just put on mascara and like feel better. Like even if you look at this side compared to this side. Like it's crazy how much just like one product can do I feel. And then we have to set the face. So I think what I'm going to do. I almost want to use the NYX that I got. I I filmed this whole unboxing of like the mail that I've gotten just because I was literally so excited to open mail and like get stuff and I just have no drive to like edit it or put it up 
If it's something that you'd want to see, leave a comment. Maybe I'll put it up. I don't know. It's just my hair looked really good in that video, though, and that is the only disaster. I got this I got this in an unboxing, so I think I'm going to put this color on. It is in the color California, so this is like a sample size. It is like a little bit pilly. That's the only thing that I kind of noticed when I was like swatching it when I was filming my other video that I never posted, but the color's really pretty, so I'll show you guys what I mean. And that's the color. So this is like the finished look. This is what I do if I were to just like normally do my makeup. Um, I've been trying to like experiment with more like crazy eyeshadows and stuff, but I just kind of wanted to do like an easy look. The last thing that I do is I do set my face. So I've been using three different setting sprays just to see which ones I like, but these are the ones that I have just to show you guys. I've been using the Milani Make It Last Matte Finishing one. I haven't been using this one as much because it is like TSA approved size. So I've been saving this one for when I get to fly again and travel and do all the fun stuff. But I do like the Jeffree Star. Um, I do like the Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist Starberry Scent from Morphe. And then I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I'm going to do the Strawberry one. I'm feeling... I don't know, springy today amongst all this snow that we're having. Okay, so that is it. I hope that you guys liked kind of getting ready with me to go nowhere, but um, just kind of seeing the products that I use and the methods and madness. If you have any suggestions to new products, new techniques, new anything, aka learning how to do my eyebrows, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear anything and everything at this point. So. I hope I edit this video and put it up. I really want to get back into normally posting on Thursdays when I normally do. So yeah, that's the look. I really hope that you guys liked it. I hope that you're staying safe and staying home if you're able to. And if you do have to go out, please be careful. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you like me or want to see more of me in the future, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.